With some six to generating sets across the country, the Guyana Power & Light is currently generating approximately 226 megawatts of power for consumers on the national grid. That is just above the needed energy for distribution, but as Abdul Yusuf, GPL's generation manager, explains, it is to ensure there is continuous power provided to communities and to guard against shutdowns. Tasked with the overall operations and maintenance of GPL's generation facilities, Yusuf assures that the power system has enough power plants producing electricity, power in reserve, and power to keep system voltage and frequency in balance. If you don't have the generators, then you won't have the power. And we have a total amount of 60 units within GPL, ranging from Skellen to Essequibo, which is Lake One, Wickenham, Bartica, and um, Anna Regina. Our intention is to make sure that we have at all times available power for the consumers, and we have that. Because not to forget that our peak load that we need to satisfy is now averaging about 148 megawatts. So with 148 megawatt that is required and for what we have available of 200, so we have some amount of you know, spare capacity. The four main sites for the generation of electricity are Skeldon, East Burbies Quarantine, Kingston, Georgetown, Vridanup, West Coast Demerara, and Garden of Eden along the east bank of Demerara. With the long-awaited 46.5 megawatt station at Garden of Eden now in stream, it offers a boost to the company's generation capacity. The extra electricity generated and sent to the grid has now afforded GPL better opportunities to conduct its maintenance, a major component to maintaining the health of the machines. It is the duty of those who work in the generation department to ensure that there is power sent to the grid, which is then distributed to various parts of the country. So we provide the power to the network and the transmission distribution department now will ensure all the network um, is healthy enough. The grid is, is strong and a lot of work is being placed to make sure that we can have more reliable power to the consumers. But with terms of capacity and generating capacity, we, I think we are in a fair state at the moment because of the input of the new generating plant that we have now in operation at the Garden of Eden power plant. GPL currently uses Caterpillar and Wartzilla generating sets, pushed by an almost $2 billion monthly fuel bill, which increases with rising fuel costs. But that's just a small part of the costs associated with generation of electricity, which could run up to $3.2 billion per month, a figure provided to us by the company's chief accountant, Wendy Jones. That is what we say our total generation costs is make up of fuel, um, lubricants for the, for the engine, we have ONM, which is the ward cell and the PPD, uh, PPDI uh, operations and maintenance costs. We also have costs for repairs and maintenance to our, to our engines because as you know, we have to keep them up to speed so that we wouldn't have any shortage out there and their customers wouldn't feel the effects of those. This is where the customer's role becomes important to ensure the GPL has the finances to procure fuel and run its generation operations smoothly. Customer payments is critical for sustainability of our operations. With GPL now generating power above what is required by its consumers for the network, it is now up to the transmission and distribution department to take power to communities. We tell you more about that in the next episode.